Good morning, game makers. Today we're going to add a second room to our game. Um, I already have reduced the number of blocks that are going to be produced. So I went to the object control and in the create event, um, I said I only wanted to create 10 um, instances of the, of the basic block. Um, I do need to make a second room. So I'm going to go to rooms. I'm going to actually just simply duplicate this. Now, because it's a duplicate, it's going to call it room zero one, but I'm going to go ahead and erase that zero so that it's room one. Right now, it's going to be an exact copy of the first room. So to make sure that that doesn't happen, I'm going to go ahead and add some instances of the object jelly. I'm going to go ahead and add some instances of the cement block just so that the room is going to be a little bit different and we can tell that what I do today actually works. Now interesting thing about rooms, um, they are either referred to by the, the order in which they appear. So this room zero, if I wanted to, if I use the variable global variable room would be equal to zero. Um, this, the second room in the list would be referred to e um, either as room one, as it's written here, or I can, it's room just the number one. So just keep that in mind that rooms are referred to by their, their order in the list or by their name. So you could use either one of those. And, and so hopefully in my demo today, I can, I can show you that real quick. I took some notes uh, just so I don't mess this up and I don't have to record this a billion times. So you'll notice every once in a while, I'm gonna look down. So what's gonna keep track of whether or not we need to move to the next room? And that's gonna be the step event of our controller. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna check to see how many of the basic block and how many of the cement blocks are left. So it's just gonna do some simple math. So it's going to say if instance number object basic block plus instance number object cement block. And if that equals to zero, so it's, if there's zero of those two things combined, then it's going to do the things here. And if it doesn't equal to zero, um, I guess I should put a second, um, second zero or second equal because I'm comparing values. Um, then it's going to skip all, all of this. It won't need to do it. Uh, so what it's going to do is it's going to check to see if there is a room after the current room. So I'm going to say if room next room does not equal negative one. Now negative one is what game maker will will return or or give a value to when there isn't something that it can find. So if it can't find a room after the current room, that's what this is saying, then it's going to um well, if it was equal to negative one, that means it can't find a room that comes after. So if the room, the next room does not return, I can't find it. There is something there. So it's not equal to negative one. Then it's, we can say room go to next. Now that's all fine and good. If there is a room that comes after the current room in the list, but if there's not, what are we going to do? Well, we're just going to restart the room. So else restart room. So, oop, I got those in the wrong order. Room restart. So what this is saying is if it, if there is a room, so th this is a little bit confusing. Um, if room next means is there, if there's a room after this and it doesn't come back, it, game maker doesn't say, oh, there's nothing there then we're going to go to the next room. A little confusing, but trust me, um, it's a little bit easier than, than the alternative um, that I was going to use. Um, so that should be all we need. So what we're going to do is we're going to clear the room. If these two things added up equals zero, um, it's going to check to, to make sure that there is in fact a room after the current room, and it's going to go to the next one if there's not. So Essentially, if this does come back negative one, then it's just going to restart the current room. Hopefully that makes sense. We'll find out when I give you a quiz. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and play my game. You can see I've only got 10 blocks, which should make it easy. Um, I think my sound effects are working today. Here it comes a power up and that 
Um, by the way, uh, my next video is going to be doing something with the ball that you can actually uh, sort of visually see uh, the, what the speed of the ball is. And when it's going super fast, it's going to have a special effect. Um, so I'm almost done clearing the level here. Let's see if this will do it. Okay, as you can see, it has moved on to the next room. Now, if I clear this level, because there is no room after the current room, so in fact, it's gonna say, um, if room, what is it, room next? Yep, if room next comes back a negative one because there isn't one there, then it's gonna restart the room. Let's see uh, if I can demo that real fast. I probably should have even further cut the number of bricks down. So you just get to watch me play this game for a minute. Almost done. So what should happen when I get rid of all the breakable blocks, because remember, we didn't ask it to check for the jellies, um, then it should restart this room. And did I get that one? Yes. Okay, I just need one more hit, and hopefully the room restarts. Because there is no room after it. Room next is going to come back in negative one. Oh, gosh darn. Sorry, guys. Almost here. This is an unnecessarily long video and I apologize. Okay, perfect, everything worked. So let's just go through that one more time. Um, so the step event is gonna check and it's gonna count, it's gonna add up the number of basic blocks and the number of cement blocks. If those added together equals zero, it's gonna see if there is a, a next room. Um, if, there, if there is a next room, the room, this number would be a zero I, well, I guess that's impossible. Um, it would be a one or two, because remember rooms are represented by the number that in the order of the list. Um, then um, if there is a room, if it does not come back a negative one, it will go to the next room. Otherwise, if it does return a negative one, there's, there's no room there, there is no next room, then um, the room will restart. So um, that's how you make multiple rooms. And uh, you can, I could say, um, Instead of room go to next, I could say room equals room one. However, that only works one time. Room go to next will all, always go to the next room in the order of the list of rooms. So that's my video today. Uh, there's not a lot of new stuff, uh, but because I'm bad at playing games, it was a little bit of a longer video. Quiz tomorrow. Thanks for watching.